first thing you do is start with a starter post and you put your bottom connection in for your first divider. You gotta be careful when you're holding that or the wind can get a hold of it pretty easy until you get another one set up. So now your back wall's up, now you start with your center dividers, the common dividers. The tools they're using are, that one there is a, just a hay hook, and we made some modified hay hooks that we, we use on occasion. There, that's a start, now the structure will stand by itself. Again, uh, it's always easiest to start with the bottom connector first, and then if need be, if the ground's not level, you can lift on the other end to make your connection. You'll notice they're setting that center divider in on a bit of an angle, and then swinging it straight. It's a lot easier to make your connection that way. If you try and go perpendicular, it's, it's harder to, to reach the connection. Now he'll swing it straight. Okay, they're just finishing up on a what we call a 10 stall barn. We go as we can go in increments of 10 as large as you want for rental situations and for purchases we can go as small as a four stall barn. We just have to order the tarp size to fit. So this is a comp completion of putting up the dividers no more than 10 minutes and next they'll bring the gates over and start putting on the gates.